Hi there and welcome to Joe World. Please consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss any of our uploads. How I was tricked to carrying my baby to full time. Popular Nigerian actress Lizzie Anjouri, who gave birth recently on the 5th of May 2021, has taken to our social media platform to reveal how her husband and her family doctor tricked her to carrying her baby to full term, even when she wanted to remove the child. According to Ham, she did not want to have a child, although she was happy she was married she does not mind babies but she did never wanted to be a carrier of a child ever since she had her first child 24 years ago as a teenager now she wanted to consider surrogacy because according to her she believes that as a young determined and career driven lady having a baby is going to set her back severally remember that Lisa and Rain is not only an actress she is also an entrepreneur, a dealer in gold, clothes, jewelries, skincare products, among so many other things that she does. And that she realized that even though she has a child before, as a woman who had nothing, no education or self-employment, at that time, even now that she's married, she did not want to have a child. And then she realized also after a wedding that they said she had no eggs in her womb and she felt like wow what people have been saying is true i'm actually infertile and she had used her womb for ritual and that maybe all of her in her quest to make money all of her meetings with people they've probably taken something from her and used that for ritual now, according to her, she does not drink, she does not smoke, she does not do anything that could tamper with a womb or whatever might be happening inside of her, but that she felt like she was careless about everything. Now, she said she went for a scan and when she went for a scan to confirm the viability of the eggs in her womb and all of those things, she realized that what they mean by her not having eggs in her womb is just synonymous with saying that she was actually pregnant and results <laughs> according to the timeline that she probably took in on her wedding night and she didn't want to believe it because she was already opting for surrogacy and her husband was very excited but then she began to think about it oh my goodness my career what am i going to do with myself how is my future going to look like? Who's going to take care of this child? I have to put my work on hold for nine whole months because cons considering her age and, you know, she's in her 40s, she would need a lot of bed rest for the pregnancy so that to avoid complications and she would need to be monitored severally for her to carry the baby to full time and she did not want to go through all of those trips because she wanted to keep making money because although her husband is a wealthy man, according to her, she does not take money from him. So her husband was like don't worry if what you want is to get rid of the baby and you want us to consider surrogacy by um, by all means no problem we can do that but unknown to her the doctor and her husband already colluded because she had not had a reason to abort a baby before she didn't know what the process was like and they told her that because of her age she would need to carry the baby till the baby is at least five months old inside of her before they can get rid of the child knowing fully well but unknown to her that a five months old baby is not advisable to be removed so she was happy that okay as at five months she was she was going to have the evacuation done but then when five months came she went to them and they were like oh no they are not going to do this that the doctor was like he's not going to kill a child and all of those things and so she wanted to still get rid of it so she contacted someone else a sister of us according to her to help her find other means to get rid of the child and her sister was like see you've helped other people's children you had one 24 years ago yes you didn't like the process yes you didn't like how the circumstance that made you get pregnant but now you have one that you are able to take care of why not just carry the baby to full term be strong and carry it and everything will be fine and then when she realized that there was no other person 
who was going to help her carry on with what she what her plan is and how she wanted to get rid of the child her husband decided to stop everything he was doing paid all his attention to her ensured that she did not go anywhere unaccompanied became a bodyguard a driver a nanny he abandoned his own business dedicated his time 24 7 to her monitoring and praying for her that she would carry the baby to time and that she would live long to you know enjoy the fruit of her labor over a new child and that is how she ended up carrying the child she finished the story by appreciating her husband mr lawal and appreciating a doctor mr mokoro who despite all of her attempts monitored her ensure that she had of an healthy pregnancy journey a pregnancy journey and also ensure that when it was time to actually give birth she gave birth to an healthy child and how she a family members and loved ones were able to help her keep the pregnancy journey a very a secret because she didn't tell us she was pregnant until after she gave birth to her child she said she strived very hard to meet up with clients and customers even when she had oxygen mask on she spoke with them she does her adverts back to back even when she passed out so many times on field she comes online to engage with fans with educational talk shows even when she was feeling tired tired and weak and that if we have parents who actually stood for us who took care of us we should appreciate that because it is not easy trying to push a career trying to make money while laboring over a child and she also prayed for everybody trying to conceive that they will actually have an elder pregnancy and god will answer their prayer so on the 5th of may when lizzie and Jorin broke the news that she uh delivered a child everybody was very happy for her according to her she said a gummy doko dogo Obashi Komak Ashetomaku has done it again. He judged based on earth, not by how you are judged by human. Obakpe Gomire has ended my shame completely. Join us as we celebrate her last favor. He's blessed us yet again. It's ended in praise. Alhamdulillah. That is how she announced the birth of her child. So if you do not know much about Lizzie and Jory, Continue with me as I take you through a journey through fame and how she got to where she is at early life and education. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel already. So, actress Lizzie Anjorin was born Elizabeth Anjorin in Lagos State, Nigeria. She started working at a tender age because she did not have money. She was born into a poor family and she was living on the streets with her mom to earn a living. She completed her primary and secondary school education and went and had the YAC result, but she could not continue with her education because there was no money for her and also she got pregnant in the process. In 2017, she graduated with a BSc in Transport Management and Planning from the Obak Olabisi Onobanjo University. She said that while she went into the movie industry, was actually filled by a fear of failure and knowing that there was fame and also money in the entertainment industry she is a movie producer she's produced several movies of her own but one of the, the movie that actually that she produced that solidified her as a no, notable movie producer is Owo naira Belt. she has featured in several other movies go for the first lady go yawa bouquet and among several others She's a, she, is, she was a single parent because she had the child as a teenager who is 24 years ago. But in 2013, she converted from Christianity to Islam and adopted the name Aisha. And so she began to be introduced as Elizabeth Aisha Anjori, now Lawal. She became familiar with the royal family of Oyo town, the Alafi of Oyo. And there was rumor in 2017-18 that she was going to marry him but she came out to debunk the news to say that the kbac was just a father figure to her and he sponsored her or when i bet the movie she has won several awards including the 2012 young achievers award for best actress the 2014 city people entertainment award for yoruba movie personality of the years different special recognition awards 
including that of the 2017 City People Movie Award and a Yoruba Movie Personality of the Year, female again at the 2017 City People Movie Award. She has featured in several movies, in hundreds of movies, but some of it include the dance movie project or one woman, Tolani Barada, Gold, Ijawa Abuke, Kofo Tinumbu, Kofo the First Lady, Owo Naira Bet, a movie she produced in 2017-2018. And that was the last movie that she actually produced. We look forward to seeing her on our screens again as a producer, a director, or an actor. She is a philanthropist and an entrepreneur, like I said, a gold merchant, jewelry dealer, clothes dealer, skincare product dealer, and she's a brand influencer and ambassador for several other brands. Anyways, that will be all for today concerning Lizzie and Jorin and her child and the journey of how she <laughs> ended up carrying a baby to full term despite wanting to remove it and how her husband and doctor tricked her to carrying it. Let me know what you think about this story. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.